Jairus Ball, Real Life Iron Man, Rocket Slash Missile Launcher, Part 5. Here's all my parts that I've been building. So this is the plate that everything is going to mount to from the bottom. So that's where the main arms will go. And then this, I cut all these tabs so that I can shape it to the arm. And here's the rocket tube with the deflector piece on the back so that you can shoot it and it doesn't blast you in the face. All the exhaust comes out the sides. Here's the pieces that I need to attach to the launcher tube. And I had to put space in there so that the, uh, you know, the screw heads would fit behind it. That way I didn't have to drill into the tube because the rockets are going to be slip fit in there real tight. And then here are the arms that cause movement that make this, uh, the top panel lift up. And this is the part that goes on the top. So this will get bolted to those pieces there and these pieces. And then these are the main movement arms that lift this part up and down. And then I decided that I'm going to use Kydex to make the, the part that wraps around the arm because it's comfortable up against you. Uh, this side's more comfortable. And I'm going to put this around the arm and then I'm going to mount this to the Kydex and then I'm going to build this on top of it. And yep, we'll see how this goes. Let me show you something real quick before I start. I had my arm not like this when I made the cast or the mold. I had it like that. And my arm is thinner when it's this way. And it's thicker when it's that way in different spots. You can see how thin this is. But this is thick this way, you know? So this basically needs to squish to make it the shape of my arm when my arm is like this. So now the issue is I need to shape my stuff to it, but account for that squish difference and try to make it fit. That's why I decided to use Kydex and attach this to it because that'll make it easier, I guess, to make it fit correctly. I hope. We'll find out. Kydex is awesome stuff. It's a thermoplastic, so you just take a heat gun and you warm it up and once it hits whatever temperature, it gets floppy. It doesn't melt, it doesn't burn. As long as you don't take it higher than that temperature, it just gets floppy. And you can form it to something, and then when it cools back down, it gets hard. This stuff is a lot of fun to work with, and you can make all sorts of awesome things from it. I'll put a link in the description from Amazon or eBay, because I found cheap stuff on there. It's difficult to find it cheap, but I'll put a link down there for you. So anyway, I'm going to form this to my arm, but I need it to be the right size first. So I'm going to cut it to the length of this. Also, Kydex bends a lot and doesn't break, but if you score it, it'll snap at that point. But once it's formed around something, it's almost impossible to break this stuff. It's extremely flexible and it pops back into shape. See how floppy? Time to mark stuff, make some cuts. There, I'm satisfied. Piece of Kydex fits right on my arm. Now put it on this, attach all this stuff. So I'm bending these out of the way a little bit because this needs to go on here. So I'm gonna fine tune their location once I get these all out of the way enough for me to see how it's gonna fit. If you drill holes in aluminum where seams meet like this and you're gonna bend them, it keeps it from breaking at those points because otherwise the aluminum would start to split. Those were in the way, so I broke them off. All right, I ended up breaking off more tabs to get it to fit correctly, but now it fits. Now I'm gonna rivet it on there. There we go. Now I just gotta throw the parts on it. Woo! Because of the squishiness of the arm, it's too fat in the back. I'm just gonna let it sit right there while I put this on. I forgot to put those screws in first. That's gonna make this substantially more difficult. So this is my trick. You take something sticky and you put it on 
thing that you gotta put in. In this case, the head of it, I'm not gonna use because I'm gonna tighten it by holding the outside of it, right? So all I have to do is stick it to something that allows me to reach into that area, right? So I'm gonna use this little piece of a zip tie and I'm gonna glue it to it and then I'm gonna use this to reach it down in there and stick it through the hole. All right, here we go. See that? Then you just pull that off. All right, now I just gotta attach this to the middle arms. Temporarily super glued it in place so that I can get epoxy on it to make it permanent. JB Weld. Now I just gotta get the little points on that move this thingy, you know? Like that thing that holds that still that makes the lid flop back and forth. Yep. I just gotta bend this little guy out of the way because it's going to hit this nut right here. All right, now I gotta trim these bolts so that it'll move. Cool, huh? Hopefully it works. Let's see if the servos can make this move. I need to determine where I'm gonna put this thing. And I'm thinking right here. It'll work out real nice. But I think I need two of these to run this. So I might need to put another one somewhere. I'm gonna drill a hole there and test it. I'm gonna attempt to put on two servos. See what it takes to make this happen. I'm gonna try putting the servos on with hot glue to test it because it's easily removable and it's flexible. This might end up being permanent, but I'm gonna put both servos on with this to test it to see if I can make this thing move. Haha! Look at it! Look at it go! Well, it's not 100%, but it works pretty good. These should be coming up to like that area, but then it won't open. I'm gonna oil it and try it again. All oiled up, here we go. Well, that works pretty good. Still not going down quite the whole way. It should be right there. See? Right there is where it's supposed to be. All right, enough playing with it. Well, that's it for part five. Subscribe for part six so you can see where this goes from here. I still have to put on the actuation system for the side panels that like close up around it and move out to the sides and build the stuff that makes it look cool. And then the launching system. Wanna see it move again? Yes! Also, if you're watching this video and you're thinking I could never build anything like that, well you definitely can't if you never try. These videos are meant to inspire you guys to try to build stuff yourself. It's a lot of fun and I get a lot of satisfaction from it. I think you will too. I hope you're entertained. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when this thing really starts to come together. Back from the dead.
you're still watching, it's probably because you know that I put Easter eggs at the end of all my videos. Just little hidden things. Well, this time I figured I'd tell you something. If you want to see what's going on with my projects before the video comes out, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook because I try to post pictures as much as possible of things while I'm working on them before the video is complete. Thanks for watching. See you next time.